In this Living Righteously series, we're going to be talking about persecution and how to handle persecution when it comes your way. Because trust me, when you're on this narrow walk and when you're enduring the narrow path, oh, you can definitely, definitely expect persecution and expect tribulation to come your way. You're probably wondering why I haven't been uploading as many videos this week because normally I do my best to upload a video a day and to keep you all updated, not only with the world around Around you but to also give you all some really helpful resources for your spiritual walk and journey and so you're probably wondering why I haven't been uploading as much this past week because I'm telling you this past week I've been going through persecution like no other and it's to the point where it's beyond the roof but thankfully we have a father who is greater than all of that because guess what greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world and so when you're serving Yahuwah and when you're following his law statutes and commandments and when you start to follow follow his law, statutes, and commandments, yes, there will be persecution, and they will persecute you for Yahusha's namesake, but you just have to know that when you're on this path, Yahuwah will get you through, and he will be the light for you, because remember, his word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, and so when we keep that in mind, we just have to know and continue to walk in his ways and walk in his steps and know that he will refresh in us, he will strengthen us, and he will renew our strength. Because Yasha Yahu or Isaiah chapter 40 verses 31 even says that they that wait upon Yahuwah, he shall renew their strength and he will mount them upon wings as eagles and they shall run and not be wearied and they shall walk and not faint. And that's exactly what Yahuwah is doing when he renews our strength. And like I said, I know it can be a very tough walk. I don't know where you are on your spiritual walk and journey right now. Maybe you're just new to the law, statutes and commandments. Maybe you're interested in learning more about it, but wherever you are on your spiritual walk and journey, just know that there's a reason that you're watching this video right now, but also just know that with the narrow walk, that yes, you will endure persecution, but even though you may endure persecution, just know that Yahuwah is with you every step of the way and put your trust in him because it is amazing how we have the creator of heaven and earth. Yes, the one who created all the heavens, the one who created the earth, the one who created you, and the one who created myself, he is the one who, who's in charge. But see, he's so sovereign and he's so mighty and magnificent and great and wonderful that not only is he going to help us through all of this and get us through all of this, he's going to be there right with us every step of the way. And yes, I know following the Torah can be difficult sometimes. And I know for many of us who are on this walk and who are on this journey, and for many of us who are even starting a new walk on this journey and learning about the law, statutes, and commandments, there is a lot that we have to give up. Just as I talked about last week, I had to give up a bunch of my writings. But I know for many of you, some of you all had to give up some old friends of yours that weren't into the walk. Some of you had to give up some old family members who weren't into the walk either. And some of you also had to give up some other things. And I know it can be difficult because they're all persecuted you and you're going through these trials and tribulations and you're enduring these trials and tribulations but we just have to remember that Yahuwah's strength and with Yahuwah's sovereignty he will not only get us through it but see those of us who trust in him and fully put our trust in him he will help us endure to the end even until the return of the Mashiach Yahusha and so right now I'm going to give you some very helpful scriptures that can help you on your spiritual walk and journey because I know the path can be very difficult indeed I know there is a lot of persecution and I know the persecution can sometimes go up above your head sometimes but see we just have to remember the sovereignty of Yahuwah our father and when we fully put our trust in him when we finally be still and know that he is Yahuwah Elohim as Tahalim or Psalms chapter 46 verses 10 tells us then that's how we know that he will be right there with us and he will help us get through it. And so right now, I would just like to take this time to really motivate you and to inspire you and to really help you keep going on the walk as you continue to seek Yahuwah and his true son, Yahusha, and as you start to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. And like I said, if you're new to this or if you're wondering what I'm talking about more, please definitely watch my Be Deceived No More playlist on YouTube as well as my Torah Truth playlist, which you can find on YouTube. And I'll make sure to leave the helpful links below in the description box to help you along the way on your spiritual walk and journey. And so today we're actually looking in the Torah 
And we're going to see what the Torah says about love and the love of our father, because I'm here in Shamut or Exodus chapter 20. Of course, this is the chapter which is well known for its 10 commandments, but we're also going to be looking at verses six, where it says, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. So how can you really love the father and get closer to the father? By keeping the commandments, by learning the law, statutes, and commandments that are highlighted and written and the first five books of scripture. So yes, that includes the Shabbat or the Sabbath day of rest. That also includes the feast days and learning about all the feast days is highlighted in Baikra or Leviticus chapter 23, as well as learning the dietary laws that are also highlighted in Leviticus chapter 11 or Baikra chapter 11, as well as Deuteronomy or Dabarim chapter 14. And I know your pastor has told you that the law is done away with, and I know many others have told you that the law is done away with, but just remember what the Mashiach Yahusha says in Yahukanan or John chapter 14 verses 15 where he even says if you love me keep my commandments well which commandments is he talking about he's quoting right here and so hopefully this will help you as you continue to endure persecution because you will be persecuted and you will go through trials and tribulations on this walk it's a narrow walk for a reason and it is like that for a reason and our fathers designed it that way for a reason and there will be persecution and trial and tribulation it is is not an easy walk. However, that does not mean that it cannot be done. And just know that our Father, He's loved us with an everlasting love. And what does it say? It shows mercy unto those who keep His commandments. So when you're keeping His commandments and when you're keeping Torah and when you have a pure heart and you're striving to keep His word and when you're striving to keep His Torah and when you're striving to keep His laws and everything, that is when He's going to not only show mercy onto you, but have compassion onto you and help you through your your persecution and help you endure the persecution because remember scripture also says that if you walk contrary unto him he's going to walk contrary unto you well the way to walk contrary unto the father is by breaking his torah and breaking his law statutes and commandments and going after and chasing other deities and not following yahuwah and his word well if you do that he's going to walk contrary unto you but just know that if you're continuing to walk in the ways of our father if you're continuing to walk in the ways of yahuwah and following the law, statutes, and commandments and accepting his true son, Yahusha, into your heart, sure the persecution and the tribulation and the trials are going to come and you're going to have to endure. And remember, it says, he that endures to the end shall be saved. Although this is going to happen, just just know that our father has loved us with an everlasting love but what we have to do is keep his word and keep his law statutes and commandments and then and only then will the father start to really turn it around things in our lives and only then can we endure the persecution all the way to the end now another scripture that Yahuwah has placed on my heart just now actually is Yasha Yahu or Isaiah chapter 43. Now I've gone over this previously in some of my other scriptures often ignored in Living Righteously videos, but I would just like to reiterate it today because I know this can really help somebody out there. I know it can really help you if you're enduring persecution. And like I said, maybe it's persecution from your family, maybe it's persecution from your job, maybe it's even persecution within your household and your friends and so-called friends. But but just know that Yahuwah has a plan if you just put your trust in him. And I know that's easier said than done, but remember, we just have to keep enduring and we just have to continue to sing praises to his name and just know that he is our father and he will be the one who, who will redeem us and save us from the time of trouble. Because I'm here in Yahshayahu 43 or Isaiah 43, and we're going to be reading from verses one through seven. And it says, but now thus saith Yahuwah that created thee, O Yahuku, or Jacob, and and he that formed thee, O Yashra, all or Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am Yahuwah, thy Allahim, the set-apart one of Yashra, all thy savior. I gave Mitzrayim, or Egypt, for thy ransom, Ethiopia, and Saba for thee. And if you're new to this channel, then we use the restored set-apart Hebrew names 
blessings for our father Yahuwah and his true son, the Messiah, Yahusha. So let's keep going. It says, since thou was precious in my sight, thou has been honorable and I have loved thee. Therefore, will I give men for thee and people for thy life? And if you're wondering why I said Allahim for this, because another way to say that and pronounce that is Elohim or Allahim. But notice in verse four, when it says, and I have loved thee because our father has loved us with an everlasting love. But what do we have to do? Continue to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. But it goes on to say, fear not for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my esteem. I have formed him. Yea, I have made him. Speaking for myself, like I said, it can be a very, very lonely walk indeed. And there is a whole lot that you do have to give up. But see, just know this, that when you're walking on this path, and although it may be a lonely walk with Yahuwah, we are never alone. And so that's why I'm here in Psalms or Tahalim chapter 30. And we're going to be looking at some verses and scriptures in Psalms to help you out on your spiritual walk and journey. And we're going to be reading from verses four through five. And it even says, sing unto Yahuwah, O ye Kadashim, or saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his set apartness. For his anger endureth but for a moment, and his favor is life. And this is the part that I really want you to focus on. It says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And like I said, I know life is not always a box of cherries. And I know life is not always roses and happiness all the time. I know that there are many difficulties that we're all going through, whether it be personally or socially or physically or mentally or emotionally or financially or psychologically, whatever the problem is, or even medically speaking, whatever that problem is, when you start to put it in the hands of Yahuwah. When you put your problem and when you put your entire life in his hands, you start to really see his work. You see his esteem. You see how he'll turn that situation around. But see, what you have to do is not only do you have to trust that he and he alone will do it, because that is what I had to do for my situation before I even started this channel. What I had to do is put it all in the hands of Yahuwah, all of it. And once I started to do that, and once I started to really seek his face, and once I started to to really get into his word and start to learn and follow his law, statutes, and commandments, that's when everything started to change. But see, for me, it didn't take a pastor to do that. A pastor could not do that for me. A church could not do that for me. It was Yahuwah and Yahuwah alone. And just like the scripture says, seek and ye shall find. And that is what I encourage you to do today is rather than wait for man to do it for you, how about you go search the scriptures on your own and you'll see the power of Yahuwah working through you if you trust and believe in him and love him and start to keep his commandments. Because we're here in Psalms or Tahalim chapter 118 and we're going to read the entire chapter so you can see exactly what it says. And like I said, hopefully these scriptures and verses will help you endure your persecution, whatever persecution that you may be going through as you continue to to walk the path of Torah because we're here and it says, Oh, give thanks unto Yahuwah for he is good because his mercy endureth forever. Let Yashra all or Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aharun or Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear Yahuwah say that his mercy endureth forever. I called upon Yahuwah in distress. Yahuwah answered me and set me in a large place. Yahuwah is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Yahuwah taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. And like I said, you may be going through things and you may enduring persecution from those who do not like you. You may be enduring persecution from those who despise you and hate you. And you don't even know why that they're despising you and hating you when you know deep down you're doing everything you can in righteousness. But see, you just have to know and remember that Yahuwah is on your side and you don't even have to fear because when Yahuwah is with you, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And like verse five even says that what? I called upon Yahuwah in distress. Yahuwah answered me and set me in a large place. And like I said, maybe you're calling him in distress right now too. I know I have been this past week 
But once I started calling upon his name, once I started calling upon the name of Yahuwah and Yahuwah alone, that is when I started to see his power manifest in my life. And I am a witness to this. But let's keep going because we're in verse 8 now. And it says, it is better to trust in Yahuwah than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in Yahuwah than to put confidence in princes. And that's something we all need to keep in mind, even for myself. It is better to trust in our father, Yahuwah rather than trust in men. And I know the flesh, it can be weak sometimes. And I know that can be difficult because we all want to trust in our job and our boss and our friends and our family. To, and we will really want to count on them. But really, when we start putting trust in Yahuwah and when we put our whole trust and nothing but our trust in him, that's when we start to see some real results. And that's how we know that he's going to get us through any type of persecution that we're going through. Because remember, nothing is too hard for him. But let's keep going. Verses 10. All nations nations compass me about, but in the name of Yahuwah will I destroy them. And note what it says, in the name of Yahuwah will I destroy them. And yes, the name is very important. You can watch more of my playlist below to find out more why. Now it goes on to say, they compass me about, yea, they compass me about, but in the name of Yahuwah I will destroy them. They compass me about like bees, they are quenched as a fire of thorns, for in the name of Yahuwah I will destroy them. And Notice we see in the name of will he destroy. But it says, Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but Yahuwah help me. Yahuwah is my strength and song and is become my salvation. So we see that Yahuwah is our salvation. And this is why the Hebrew is so important as well, because when you look at the Hebrew name for the real Messiah, Yahusha, his name means what? Yahuwah is salvation. Yahuwah saves. Let's keep going. It says, verse 15, the voice of rejoicing. Rejoicing in salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous, those who are following the law, statutes, and commandments. The right hand of Yahuwah doeth valiantly. The right hand of Yahuwah is exalted. The right hand of Yahuwah doeth valiantly. I shall not die but live and declare the works of Yahuwah. Yahuwah hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise Yahuwah. And see, sometimes we are so prone to forgetting about the little things in life that may seem little, but forgetting the things that Yahuwah has done for us that we normally take for granted. For example, how he's awakening us and has awakened us not only naturally by getting us up out of bed, but also spiritually as well by giving us and restoring to us his name, but also how he's given us his own very own creation and so that we can be dominion and have dominion over all of the animals and the fish of the sea and everything else and sometimes we forget that and sometimes we forget to stand in awe of his creation how he created everything including us and how he's with us as well and sometimes we forget that and sometimes we forget how thankful we really can be and how much we have to be thankful for our father for just even breathing life into us because we do breathe the air and he is the air that we breathe because scripture even says that man shall not live by bread alone but by the word of Yahuwah now it goes on to say in verses 20, the gate of Yahuwah into which the righteous shall enter. So those who are following the law, statutes, and commandments, I will praise thee for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. So we see it again. Yahuwah is our salvation. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is Yahuwah's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which Yahuwah hath made and we will rejoice and be glad in it because yes, it's a new day and we're going to rejoice in this new day because we know it is Yahuwah who has made it and has called it his new day. Save now, I beseech thee, O Yahuwah. O Yahuwah, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Barakt, or blessed be he that cometh in the name of Yahuwah. We have barakt, or blessed you, out of the house of Yahuwah. Allahim is Yahuwah, which hath showed us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my Allahim and I will praise thee. Thou art my Allahim, I will exalt thee. O oh, give thanks unto Yahuwah, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And that's even what I'm learning for myself, is that when you are going through persecution and when you are enduring persecution, sometimes the best thing you can do is listen to some good praise and worship music, is listen to some good Yahuwah music, which I'm going to take you to some in just a second to come. But before I do, there's always more, because here's another scripture that 
that can help you out. It's here in Tahalim or Psalms chapter 126. And it says, when Yahuwah turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, Yahuwah hath done great things for them. Yahuwah hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Yahuwah, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. So you may be going through a period of sorrow right, right now and pain and everything, but just know that Yahuwah will turn it into joy. He will turn all of that pain and mourning into joy if you just put it in his hands because that's one of the fruits of the Ruach is joy. And just know that he will do this if you continue to trust in him. And so the very final scripture that I would like to take you today is right here in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And we're going to be reading from verses 16 through 18. And like I said, I hope this is helping you on your spiritual walk and journey. And like I said, I know that the persecution is tough. I know it can be very difficult sometimes. And I know that the world is getting darker and darker as we've been seeing these past couple of days. And don't worry, Yahuwah willing, I'm going to be covering what's been going on recently in the world because it's only getting darker and darker. But despite all of that. See, when we put our trust in Yahuwah and when we put our lives in Yahuwah and Yahuwah alone, then we know that we will have comfort through all of this. He will give us comfort and he will be the one to tread down all our enemies. But we just have to continue to trust that he will do this even when things look very bad. But I'm here in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and it says in verses 16 through 18, For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And remember, though they that wait upon Yahuwah, he shall renew their strength. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of esteem. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So we know that the affliction that we're going through, it's only for a moment, but we just have to know that worketh, it worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of esteem when we trust and put our trust in the Father and start to follow his law, statutes, and commandments. And so if you're new to all of this and you would like to learn more about this, definitely check out some of my playlists below which I'm going to definitely link below in the description box you can definitely check out my be deceived no more playlist so you can be deceived no more but you can also even check out my Torah truth playlist and I just made this playlist a couple of days ago so you can see it so you can learn more about the Torah as well as learning more about the law statutes and commandments but if you're looking for better scriptures and if you're looking to get away from all those watered-down translations with all those pagan titles in them then I highly recommend the Affair. And what this affair is, is that it's a comprehensive restoration of sacred scripture that is written in the English language. Now, what's good about the affair version and what's good about the affair scriptures is that not only does it set forth a transliteration rather than a substitution of the names of our father Yahuwah and his true son Yahusha, not to mention the Ruach HaKadush or the set apart spirit, but it even restores the Olive Tav 9,837 times. It even includes all of the 81 books that were previously canonized as scripture, including books such as Enoch, Jubilees, Jasher, First and Second Esdras, Baruch, and among others, but it also transliterates over 3,100 Hebrew names without substitution. It even includes a Hebrew to English chart of the most common names and places found in scripture, not to mention a chart of the modern and Paleo Hebrew that can help you even get equipped with the Hebrew, as well as learning the Hebrew names for our father, Yahuwah, and his true son Yahusha. Now, although it is a little bit on the pricey side, if you put in the coupon code Truth Unveiled, so if you type in the coupon code Truth Unveiled without the 777, you will receive 10% off your purchase. And like I said, the coupon code for this is Truth Unveiled. And I will leave that information in the description box below as well. Now, if you're also looking for more music and motivation for your spiritual journey, and if you're looking for good Yahuwah music, then I highly recommend Hadarabat Yaset Apart Heart. 
heart. Now, what's good about this is that not only does Hadara do music that's devoted to Yahuwah, but she also posts some good scripture challenges and other different things that can help you with motivation and music for your spiritual walk and journey. And as you can see, she also has different music that you can get to help you with your spiritual walk and journey as you continue to seek Yahuwah and seek him with all your heart. But there are also some really good, helpful resources too that she posts here as well that can help you on your spiritual walk and journey as well. And like I said, I don't know your spiritual walk and journey right now. I may not know the type of persecution that you're going through right now. I may not know the trials and tribulations that you're going through right now, but just know that you're not alone and just know that with the Father on your side and with Yahuwah on your side, you are never alone. And just know that there are many others who are going through the same things that you're going through as well, because trust me, I'm in facing persecution on a daily basis as well. But remember, Yahuwah has given us power to trample over our enemies. And hopefully this has been a help unto you. This is Truth Unveiled here saying shalom.